In this video, I want to teach you how to use Kittle to make a design for a topic that they may not have a template for. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. And in this video, I wanted to teach you how to use Kittle, more specifically using Kittle templates for topics that they may not have. Now they have a lot of topics on there, but they're in beta and of course they're, they'll keep adding stuff and more stuff like that. But when I went on there, they didn't really have uh, topics for St. Patrick's Day. And so in January, if you look at this video right here, you'll notice uh, that on the January calendar, I did a, uh, one of the things on there was to do t-shirts for St. Patrick's Day. And I had a little saying on there, fill in the blank, one lucky blank. So we're gonna use that right there um, to create a design for St. Patrick's Day. And I'm gonna use a template on Kittle to do it. So I'm not gonna start from scratch. And you can do this with any template. I'm gonna just pick one and show you how I pick it and then how I change things up. Uh, Kittle is really cool with all those templates on there. And of course, they're gonna add more and more. I'm sure in the future, they're gonna have lots of St. Patrick's Day designs and lots of other holiday designs. But for right now, they don't. So I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, using another template. So let's get into Kittle right now and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so here we are on Kittle.com, K-I-T-T.com right here. Still in beta, this is their homepage and you can see tons of templates, right? I, I love how when you come on here every week, every day, it looks a little different because they keep adding more and more stuff. Uh, this is really cool and I love all the different styles too. You can see there's this kind of style, like vintage style and then you got, uh, you know, more more cartoony style and things like that, right? So pretty cool. So if you haven't ever been to Kittle, this is it. I'm gonna show you what I mean by not having uh, St. Patrick's Day. So I'm just gonna do St. Patrick's Day. Hopefully they didn't add one in the last hour or so, but. Uh... All right, so not really, I typed in St. Patrick's Day and you can see there's nothing for St. Patrick's Day yet. Uh, depending on when you're watching this video, maybe maybe there is, but right now as I'm on here, there isn't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to t-shirts and then I'm gonna look through it and kind of see um, what I'm gonna use as a template, as a starting point for my St. Patrick's Day. Oh, I better unclick St. Patrick's Day and then T-shirts, perfect. So what I'm gonna use is the phrase, one lucky blank. I'm gonna do one lucky mama just to make it simple. It could be one lucky dad, one lucky grandma, one lucky whatever. This is a scalable design that I put on there uh, in my uh, 2023 calendar. If you don't have that already, make sure to go to the downloads. I have it on sale right now for only a dollar. Lots of good information there. It's really to help you with 2023. So I'm looking for a style um, because it's three words. Maybe look for something with three words or so or something that I can see putting in like one lucky mom, okay? So this one has a football and that's okay. We can switch out the design, but we could say one lucky mom. That would work. Let me see what else we got here. You know, that would be cool. Of course, we wouldn't want something like this where it's just too many words, right? So we're looking for something that would work and where we can maybe switch out the design. Let me see if there's anything here. This one would be cool. One lucky mom, there's three words, right? So let's see if there's anything else. There, there's lots of them. I'm looking for one um, maybe that says lucky on it. That could really help. Let's see, I think I've seen one before, but again, we could use a ton of these ones. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more and see. In fact, one thing you could do is just type in the word lucky. So let's, let's try that too. So again, I could use any one of those. I'm gonna scroll up here and just type in search lucky. See what we got. Ah, very cool. So we got a couple of these. This one doesn't look like a t-shirt. This one could be a t-shirt. It does have the word mom, so I could do uh, one lucky mom here, that could be really cool. And then I got lucky here, so it says lucky queen. I can use that to say one lucky, use that word lucky, and instead of queen, I could change that to mom. So click on it, use this design. As it pulls up, the first thing we wanna do is change the size. So let's come over here, uh, go to settings, and type in 4500 by well, let's change this to pixels first. I forgot to do that. Pixels, 
All right, you can see how small it is in pixels, but we want 4,500 by 5,400 and hit confirm. So you can see it was so much smaller. I'm gonna grab the whole thing and just size it up. Everything on here is um, scalable. So real easy to do. All right, I know I want lucky. Uh, I'm gonna take off this texture first. It's just gonna get in the way. So I'm gonna move that, I'll bring it back later. Um, let's see, this bingo, I like this font. That's BB Boquette, BB Boquette. Um, maybe what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this queen, I'm gonna make it BB Boquette, instead of made in orange. I just like, I like thicker fonts. And we could say one lucky queen, we had one lucky blank, right? So we're gonna do mama, all caps. Uh, maybe take away the bingo letters and let's do that real easy. Uh, move this lucky down here. Uh, I'm holding down option and scrolling this up so I have mama on the top, but I'm gonna say one instead of that. And let's see, see really easy. I'm gonna make one a little smaller, put it in the middle here, maybe make lucky bigger. Lucky from edge to edge and that fits perfect. I'm gonna move some of these guys out of the way. They're grouped, so ungroup is command G. And move that, that guy's grouped. Oh, that might be cool up here. Let's see what else we got. I'll move these guys up here too, just out of the way. All right, oh mama, and lucky. Look at that, perfect. One lucky mama, so easy, right? Um, but I don't want the bingo on here. So I'm gonna take that out. Um, uh, maybe make this bigger. Let's boom. All right. Uh, let's move this all down. Well, that's all of it. I'm just gonna, you can scroll it like that and then good. We're just gonna give it some height. I think this will be good right there. Great, looking good. Let's see what other graphics they have for Lucky. So I'm gonna go here to Elements, just type in Lucky. What do we got? Lucky Foot, Lucky, yeah, that's kinda of cool. Uh, lucky Cards, kinda of neat. Huh, I, I mean, we could use some of these, but I, I don't see anything that like really like I want to put. So maybe let's let's do Clover. Yeah, I like these a lot better. So maybe I'm gonna remove this guy and this guy, this guy, and then do a Clover. So maybe, uh, I don't know, something that's, uh, that turns, this one, this one's kind of cool. I actually like, the, I think this, one. yeah, this one. I like that one better, because it has, I like the, the play, you know, with that in there, so the white space. So I'm gonna do that, remove this guy. And maybe I'm gonna option and drag. And maybe that one's like that, but this one's turned. So I'm gonna flip it, uh, right click on my mouse, flip horizontal, you know, maybe make this bigger. I don't know, playing with it like that. I think that's pretty cool. All right, and we can add more if we want. Like we could, let's try another one. Like make this smaller, right? And then turn it around like that. See what I'm doing there? Just kind of filling the space, right? Maybe this one fills the space here. I don't know, maybe that's too many. Cool. Uh, let's see, what else could we put here? Um, I like maybe some dice. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Dice, so we're just filling the space. I had some space down here, right, because I took away the bingo cards. And cool, you see how that, like, that's an original design, right? So from what we had before. Now, one thing about One Lucky Mama here is it's gonna be a St. Patrick's Day shirt. So we may wanna do it on a black shirt or maybe even a green shirt. So I'm gonna come in here. My background 
uh, can be green like this. Uh, maybe that's a light green, maybe a darker green, you know, maybe like that. I'm just eyeballing it from, from there, maybe green. All right, so now we gotta change everything to match this green shirt. So what we could do is we could uh, change this to white, right? Just pull it up like that. I don't know if I want the drop shadow on here. Let's see what it looks like when I change the angle. I mean, that's kind of cool. Let's see what it looks like when we uh, change the color colors to it to white. And maybe maybe this is green too, like a lighter green. Let's see. Oh, that's kind of tough. Let's try to move it in the back. Send to back. Oh, it's kind of cool. You move it up like that. Uh, one, let's see what it looks like without the texture on here. We take that out and then just, you know, make that white too. Yeah, not bad. Um, I think the stars are kind of cool with white. I mean, you can play with all the colors here. Uh, maybe this would be good, like a light green, like that green right there. Let's see. Yeah, why not? Let me change all these. To, we want like two or three colors, right? So, that could be cool. Let's see. Um, and for the dice, I kind of want it to break the top here like that. And let's make these white too. And maybe, so we got black. I wonder if this looks good in white. That's kind of cool. Uh, I wonder if it, instead of black, we do we do a green too. Like maybe an even darker green. I don't know. That's kind of cool. Does it stand out? Yeah. All right, let's pick that same green here. Cool. And this is the background. You know, that could work. Let's see what it looks like on a black shirt. Oh, I don't know about that drop shadow. Let me, we can just take that off. Yeah, let's keep it simple. All right, and then maybe move these guys up. Cool, one lucky mama. I don't know, let's try the try this in green. I know dice usually aren't green, but let's see what it looks like. Just to have the same colors. White. Maybe, that could work. All right, let's change this back to, uh, instead of black, the, the green, dark green color and see. Yeah, I mean, that could, that could work on a green shirt. Cool, let's add, um, what do we say? Texture again. Um, I like doing the, like the light one right here. Yeah. And then we're going to do, uh, alpha mask and then, uh, make sure we clip the content. Yeah. Ooh, no, that's looking funky. Let's, uh, see what else we got here. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. One lucky mama. Cool. So all we have to do now to use that for a t-shirt is we come here, we'll export it and make sure it's 4,500, 5,400 pixels, 72 DPI. I mean, you could change it, um, but then that's gonna change that. So let's just, just leave it, it's fine. And then remove background, right? Remove that green, it's gonna be on a green t-shirt. Optimize quality, yes, PNG, yes. And here we go. Simple as that. Now, so now I have a a uh, design that I can use for St. Patrick's Day. And of course, I can come out here and like change this. Instead of mama, I can do dad, right? And it still work. And I could stretch this out even, make it bigger. You know, it works for a different person. And now I have a second shirt. One lucky dad, one lucky son, one lucky grandma, one lucky, like change it, right? So um, I like one lucky mama though. There we go. I just did Command Z there to back it up. And let's see what it looks like uh, with it knocked out. One lucky mama. You can see it's knocked out. It has the gray here. And we can use this on 
any of the shirts that we want. Let me show you what it looks like on Amazon when I upload it on Amazon. So here we are uh, on Amazon. I uploaded it. You can see it knocked it out. Let's, let's see what colors it looks good on. So let's see. Asphalt gray. Yeah, looks pretty cool. It's kind of big, right? So we can size it down. We made it the full size so that we have the option to scale it down. I'm going to scale it down to like that right there. Um, black looks great. I think cranberry red looks great. Of course, we want the green. And I think we have a couple of greens. We have the olive green. We have uh, blue. That's fine. Red. Oh, that's kind of tough, but we'll leave it. Brown. Uh, grass green, of course. Turn that off. It doesn't work on white. You can see it on white, right? Uh, the gray. I think we already have that gray. So this is good. And then I'm going to pick all my other colors. But you can see it looks really cool. I'm going to um, take out the guide so you can see it. There you go. Uh, on green and on um, Kelly green too. And even on black. I think black looks really cool for that. So there it is. Super simple. I did it within minutes, right? And and just think how many of these you can make in one day. Um, you know, we got the template. Took me, what, 15 minutes? So for an hour. Uh, you got eight hours in the day that maybe you, you're doing t-shirts four times eight, 32 a day. Like you can, you can crank these out, right? So pretty cool, especially if you did one lucky mama, one lucky dad, one lucky, like you can do that. That would take seconds, right? So you can do a lot of these, um, um, merch by Amazon or Amazon merch on demand would be the one to do the scale designs. I wouldn't do all the scale designs on Redbubble or T public, maybe some, but I, it's not built for that like Amazon is built for scaling design. So have fun with this. Uh, this is super easy tutorial. Hopefully you don't have to copy this, but you can see use a template, um, switch out the letters and everything and there you go. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this video is super helpful for you. You can see how you can go from template to design final design in a matter of minutes, real easy with Kittle and they're gonna keep adding more and more templates and the design that you're gonna pick, the templates um, are kind of going to be a base of your design. So look for one that you like the style of and then change the words and stuff. And you can see I changed it a lot in the colors and everything. So hopefully this was really helpful for you. If it was, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps in the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed already and you want to see more of these, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can see all the videos that I have planned going forward. The question of the day for this video is what holiday are you going to be working on for January? There's a bunch of them in that calendar. Let me know which one you think is the best one to work on. I like St. Patrick's Day. I think that's a, that's a huge one for next year. I'm going to start doing some of those. Um, let me know what you're going to be working on or if there's something that you want to ask me about kiddo, you can leave that in the comments as well. Thanks again for watching. And if you want to see more videos about Kittle and how to use it, click on these videos right here. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.